let's dive in into this 40 year series and one of the videos that I recommend you guys watching is this video from 3 blue 1 brown where the video dives in into more 40 year series uh, in a visual way with the math also present and I think it does a brilliant job explaining 40 year series but for but the scope of these videos or for these videos we're going to focus on the Fourier series of periodic signals applied to linear circuits. And before we go to before we do that, let me just cover one more thing. We're dealing with sinusoidal waveforms, and we have different ways of representing these sinusoidal waveforms. So at t equal to zero, if your wave is zero, we normally represent that as the sine. And if at t equal to zero, we have the maximum or the peak of your sinusoidal waveform, we call that cosine. And in a lot of engineering books, you will see the sinusoidal waveforms being represented as the cosine of x. I just wanted to have in mind that they are both representing the same sinusoidal waveform, it's just that they are in different points in time. We're going to use and focus a lot in this cosine. Alright, so... Fourier series is defined by the following expression and um, there is a lot of information inside of this equation and we're going to tackle in the next set of videos this equation from different perspectives. We're starting here with a more visual way. So in orange you have what we call the AC component of our signal, so the part that varies in our signal that you see here in orange. In this particular case we have what it's called a sawtooth wave. And notice that it's just a summation of a bunch of sinusoidal waves. And then in yellow, we have the DC component of our signal, or the offset. And this offset can be positive or negative, so it's going to shift your wave either up or down accordingly. Alright, so if we approach this more in a mathematical way, A0, which is the offset, or the DC component, it's going to be the integral of your signal over this period, and we call this the average value of your signal. For AN and BN, we have also a set of integrals of your signal times the cosine over this period for AN, or your signal times the sine and the integral of that over this period, and we call these BN. And AN and BN are what we call the Fourier coefficients of your signal. And we're going to explore these Fourier coefficients a little bit more in the next videos. For now, I just want you to have in mind that we have the Fourier coefficients being multiplied by a cosine or sine, and it just becomes a little bit overwhelming, um, this, this expression. But we'll, we'll go and uh, analyze this slowly. All right, so there is an alternative way of representing these Fourier series. And if I pick up the Fourier coefficients an and bn, and I apply the square root of those of a n squared plus b n squared, I have what it's called amplitude. And if I do the b n over a n arc tangent of that and uh, multiply by minus one, I get the phase. And we have what it's called alternative form for the Fourier series. Just a quick note here regarding these minus, just have in mind that this is a source of confusion because a lot of the times when we are dealing with complex numbers, uh, if those numbers are being represented in rectangular form and we want to pass to polar, we're also going to find the phase, but we don't put these minus. Just have in mind that every time that you do that for the Fourier series, for this alternative form, that phase gets that minus over here. All right, so if I pick up this a n and um, theta of n and I place then on that summation, I get a n times cosine of... 2 pi n f 0 of t plus that phase. And this is the equation that we're going to use, this alternative form, we're going to use to analyze circuits. And you notice that, and you're probably wondering, like, how is this one with just one sinusoidal waveform related with this series over here with two sinusoidal, form, sinusoidal waveforms? And it's actually because of a trigonometry identity where the cosine of x plus y it's equal to this part of over here and notice that your x is going to be equal to 2 pi n f 0 of t and your y is that phase if i substitute that you get exactly the expression that you have here on the top and this is the way that you have to relate one sinusoidal function with two sinusoidal functions 
Notice here that your Fourier coefficients are now, are now defined, instead of an integral, are now defined based on the Fourier coefficients with the amplitude and the phase. Alright, so this is the expression that we're going to use on the next videos.